YouTube, Big G, back again with another video. And this time, another segment in my signature uh, game series. And this time for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Fantastic old machine this. The old rubber key version brings back so many memories. But there's one game, when I think of the ZX Spectrum, that comes to mind immediately. And that is Jetpack by Ultimate for the 16K Spectrum. Fantastic game this. I remember playing this game at a friend's house uh, while we were supposed to be doing a project. Lo and behold, he had a ZX Spectrum and uh, this is one of the games he had and we had hours of fun playing this game on the ZX Spectrum. So yes, let's load it up and here we go guys. So uh, it's busy loading up. I'm loading it on my ZX Spectrum Plus 2 and I just had to include this part as well because uh, when you load these old games, it's fantastic to watch as it actually draws the graphic art work. Um, I, I can remember being simply amazed at the quality of these graphics back in the day. And that sound, just listen to that loading sound. It became a, it's a sound that if you hear today, you know automatically. Okay, so I've skipped ahead and now we're into game. I'm playing on the keyboard as such. And uh, my role is to build a spaceship. And travel through the universe uh, picking it up piece by piece as you can see there and uh, ensuring that uh, I fill it with fuel and at the same time pick up all the gems and gold now what made this game so brilliant was the fact that it ran on a 16k spectrum first of all so a lot of the guys that got into computers uh, their parents could only afford to buy them a 16k spectrum because it was cheaper than a 48k and this was one of the earlier games that came out and it ran on a 16k spectrum it's actually quite amazingly a hell of a lot better than a lot of the 48k spectrum games because I mean just look at it the graphics are great the sound is awesome and look at that gameplay um, I love the way that you can your laser wraps around the screen um, which was a novel idea I've never seen that really in any other game I think maybe Asteroids had something similar to that in the arcades but otherwise it just had that fantastic simplicity around it and there you can see I've filled up my spaceship and on I go to the next galaxy so a very simple game but very well executed now yes it may have gotten a little bit monotonous because basically you just do the same thing over and over and over again but what else could they fit in for 16k so I think ultimate uh, did a fantastic oh, damn it there I lost my first life <laughs> <laughs> playing with the keyboard is not so easy I couldn't get my joystick operating so I'm playing with the old keyboard um, because uh, uh, for some reason oh, damn it a second life got so as you can see the enemies are moving a hell of a lot faster and with the keyboard uh, my reactions are not as fast but let's see uh, and you know the gameplay is actually quite frenetic it, it, it gets very very fast paced um, so even though there's not a lot of areas that you can move around. They were very clever with the way they actually designed the screen. Although there are some cheats, there's certain areas where you can just hide out in and just rack up a huge score. But that sort of defeats the object. You might as well just go put in some infinite life score, uh, uh, peak or poke or whatever, and actually just cheat in the game. But uh, I prefer just playing it. <laughs> Come on. Looks like little monster cotton cotton wool balls that are chasing you around and they are filled it up again come 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 I need to get back into that spaceship and off we go so that's level two done on to level three I actually played this game uh, on that friend uh, said spectrum that I mentioned earlier long before I actually or not long before yeah before I actually owned a spectrum so this was definitely one of those games that influenced the decision for me purchasing a ZX Spectrum or basically begging my parents to get a ZX Spectrum and uh, promising them that uh, I'm going to use it for educational purposes and you had to have it, it's you know, the new technology so I can learn programming and so forth. Meanwhile it was to be able to play games like this and uh, when I purchased my ZX Spectrum I made sure that this was one of the games that I actually got with the Spectrum. Uh, later on it actually became one of the free games that you actually got with your different packs because I mean it just was such a fantastic game. Definitely one of my favorite games or basically the best game that in my mind that Ultimate Play the Game actually brought out.
from here onwards, yes, they pushed the boundaries, but they never made another addictive, simple game uh, of this sort of caliber. Uh, they may have had better graphics, better gameplay and so forth, but this still was, in my mind, their best effort. Comes up giant balloons and we made another level. And so we're moving through the game. Now this game was ported. It was. It came out in 1983, and it, it quickly became very, very successful. It was top of the charts. It scored very, very highly in the different ratings, and it was ported to numerous platforms. Okay, these looks like little time pilot spaceships of some sort. I must say the the with this game being ported onto so many different systems, I still like the ZX Spectrum version. You know, with its color bleeding and so forth, it really, they really did a great, great job with it. Right, let's make this the last level then. Let's see if I can clear it without dying. Come on, come on. Unfortunately, the AI is not too good at these enemies, but it does speed up later on as you as you get further on in the game. There was a follow-up that came out. I never really played the follow-up. I must actually load it up and give it a try. Come on, come on. There we are. So, end of that level. Well, guys, this is my signature game for the ZX Spectrum 16K Jetpack by Ultimate Play the Game. Fantastic game. Definitely is uh, one of those games when you see it or hear it or even when the loading screen comes up, you picture your ZX Spectrum immediately. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah, cheers from me.